There are a lot of organizations, um, they've got the CRM, um, but there's something you just touched on there. Uh, that CRM is 10 years old, 15 years old. It's kind of rusted on a little bit. Um, and there is, in my experience, often there's a real desire to change, but a real fear of the complexity of, of change that, that I think sometimes stops people kind of even really um, exploring too far. You, you know, what advice would you have? What tips would you give to those people who are, you know, maybe thinking that a transition between platforms is, is more trouble than it's worth? It depends on the size of the organization. I always like to take the approach of uh, running small pilots. So having the ability to run a, you know, an environment with say one or two users and salespeople that would be able to, you know, get into the new system uh, and, and people that are not adverse to change. So making sure you're choosing those users uh, with, you know, a lot of choice and thought that's being put into for people that are open to change and do embrace technology. You're always going to find that there's people that don't like change and that's that's fine. But I think if you can find the right people that are open to it and see there being um, ways of doing things smarter and more effectively, piloting is probably one of the best ways to test a new system because that way when you have built that um, internal champion, they can become someone that, um, you know, demonstrates the value of that system to other users in the business. And it's not a case of, you know, management coming down and saying, hey, this is the new way, this is the new world, this is what we're going to move towards. And that has its own issues in its own right. And so I think having it kind of come from peers and people that are using it and seeing the value and deriving that, um, people generally follow, you know, others that have gone there and done it before.